What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we made our way here to Metro Kingdom, the big city of Super Mario Odyssey. Today we are going to be obtaining more power moons in Metro Kingdom. I'm very excited about this. I actually really like this kingdom. It's weird. I played it yesterday and I didn't really like it as much compared to other kingdoms. But after playing it today, it kind of grew on me. So I realized this could potentially be one of my favorite kingdoms in this game. So anyway before we begin you all know the drill drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day last time I asked you guys how did you spend your long weekend over the past week here are some of the responses we got today's comment question of the day is other than let's plays what kind of content would you like to see here on the channel I've been thinking about making different content on the channel outside of LPs and you know I've been leaning towards doing vlogs podcasts anime reviews and stuff like that so let me know down in the comments section below what kind of content you'd like to see me do on the channel outside of LPs and you know if there's a high demand for something I'll definitely do it if it's something that I'm down to do I like I said vlogging is something that I would love to do it's just I've never really done it and that's why it's exciting for me to want to do it because I think I'd enjoy myself doing it a lot uh, same thing with like anime reviews I always have discussions with my friends when we watch TV shows and you know anime stuff and it's just like I feel like we should record ourselves and all upload it online because I feel like a lot of people would be interested and they'd share the same opinions and stuff that we have when do having these discussions and whatnot. So let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. As you can see today we are repping Mario with the Bob the Builder outfit. Mario the Builder. Actually we need this specifically for a power moon which I'm going to do first because it's the one that's on the top of my head right now. There's a lot of power moons. I'm going to have to be using the guide to like remember you know some of them. It's just because this kingdom is littered with power moons. 81 man and it's not even the most power moons in this game in terms of kingdoms let's actually take a look let's see so we got this kingdom has 89 power moons yo that's crazy so this one's the second longest then the seaside kingdom luncheon kingdoms only 68 surprisingly even though i feel oh never mind mushroom kingdom has a lot however most of these are just achievement stars which our power moons which actually I can get now if I go back and you know talk to Toadette um, I'm sure she'll give me a lot of achievement star or power moons I don't know why I'm leaning to say stars why do I say that I don't know but anyways we got a dude out here wearing the Mario builder no, I don't know what this is called Mario builder hat with an M on it as well and you're the only one qualified to enter a place like this right now nobody gets in here but the building inspector ah, I see by your uniform that you're the inspector I was waiting for really I was the inspector man Mar Mario's really stepping up his career choice but this place is pretty easy I like it and it's uh, nice and fun to do as you can see you have a lot of fuzzies you got the ones that uh oh no well, that sucks. You know, I literally let myself get hurt. You could actually take this and leave, right? Oh, wow. The coins actually still come to you. I thought you had to stand and, like, wait for them to accumulate uh, before you can actually leave. But luckily for us, that's not the case. You could just leave. But, yeah, this is a part of the city somewhere. I don't know where this would technically be, but this exists in the city somehow. It's pretty dope, I must say. Also, right here, there's going to be a power moon hidden, you know, right here. Obvious. This this was obvious. When I first played it, I knew it was going to be hidden back here. I mean, where else would have they put it, you know? They'd make you stop in your tracks while you're, you know, I don't know what that is, but you know what I'm trying to say doing that electric cute thingamajig and then making your way to the end so once you do that you literally have to go back down and do it again it's you know you can't just pick any way or you can't start it from anywhere you have to literally do it in the order the game wants you to do it in now for this part you have to be kind of quick because uh you do have uh these fuzzies chasing after you and the thing is if they hit you that's uh, that's just it's, it's not a good thing oh no we did it wow i'm surprised i got all five of them in a jiffy that's pretty dope and with that guys we can get the power moon so two power moons easily obtained in a matter of just minutes i forgot as well that we had the bean power moons as well so i'm probably gonna save those for the last uh part of this video just to ensure i get an additional 20 in this episode outside of those ones so then we'll make it like 23 total that'll be pretty nice but honestly what's that no use for it right now what are you talking about what is this dude off and on about i don't know dude but there's also a lot of coins that I have to collect. You could also possess, you know, the lids on 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 those thingamajigs. What are they called? Sewer caps? Pretty sure that's what they're called. 
I lived in a city, man, and I don't even know what they're called. Speaking of living in Chicago, honestly, you know, I li right now I live in a house. I have a pretty good deal. I live in a big house in the suburb parts of Illinois with my uh, roommates, my brothers, and it's pretty clean. You know, the it's, it's a good deal that I have going on here. Uh, but playing this makes me realize I like the city life a little bit, you know I only reason I moved away from the city was because I was a broke guy And I had no money and living in the city when you don't have money is just not fun at all So, you know, I definitely believe having money like I mean not having like money being filthy rich or anything But like having a job and you know being able to support yourself in the city is 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 definitely an experience <clears throat> but like back when I lived in the city you know I was just living in the dorms and I was I wasn't making any money or anything like that so you know I couldn't really do anything I just sat in my room all day on my computer whether I was you know doing educational stuff whether I was uh, playing video games whether I was you know uh, just watching Netflix or whatever. It was just the same thing over and over again except with a lot of chaos in the background like you constantly heard just the noise of the city. It really sucked. But, you know, I think this time around, it'll be a good experience. My roommate Munching Orange actually got a place in the city recently, and it kind of is inspiring, you know. It makes me want to go try the city life out again. So who knows, maybe next year, I'll be moving out, going to the city myself, you know, and testing it out and seeing how it's how life is, you know, living in the heart of downtown Chicago. Just maybe for a year. It's too expensive. That's the problem about it. So obviously, I wouldn't do it for more than just a year. It's just to, you know, get it out of my system, you know. I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty set in motion at this point, you know, I think I'm gonna do it, but there you go, there's a power moon in here, apparently, I, I wasn't talking about the power moon, there was a power moon there, there was actually a way you could do it, you have to, if you follow, like, a path, I was just kind of winging it, literally, I was just going and doing things at random, and it worked out pretty nicely, so, I'm glad it did. Anyways, this is the theater of Metro Kingdom, so you can play the first level, 1-1, and Super Mario Bros. here, and, uh, there are two power moons as well the first one located in the fourth pipe in this level if you go down this pipe you'll see there's a power moon hidden and there's uh you know the the metro kingdom -ians. actually what do they call they have a name uh i literally knew that i was told the name earlier today but then now i can't think of it um oh my gosh this is crazy i don't remember the name but they have a name it's kind of silly I think it's Metro Kingdomians. It's not that. There's no way it's Metro Kingdomians. That just sounds stupid. That's something I just made up. But they have a name, which is pretty cool, and it's related to Metro Kingdom, and that's that's what they are. They're pedestrians of this place. They know nothing but the Metro Kingdom. Yet they hired this weird alien-like person to be their uh, mayor, which is Pauline. If you look at Pauline, dude, she's not like them. She's not even human, man. She's like Peach or Daisy with the big eyes, human-like features, but I wouldn't really classify her as a human. I don't know what they would technically be. Mario, too, he's a different species. Same thing with the Toads, man. It's like they brought three different species together, and then they, uh, they put them all in one game. But yeah, they don't explain, like, where they came from, the backstory or anything like that. It's just a world we'll never really know answers to. Maybe one day Nintendo will give, like, a real backstory to Mario, because I don't believe there is one. I just feel like, you know, what they do is, uh, they just winged it, pretty much. They just expect you to make your own story up or whatever. Maybe they don't even think that far. They're just like, yeah, whatever, we don't really need to give a backstory or anything like that. So anyways, over here, you'll actually see a flying bird with a power moon inside of it. Uh, this is actually the way I know how to get it. So it'll fly around here, and I think the best way to do it is literally by bouncing off of this taxi. I know that cab driver inside that taxi must be so pissed. I would be so mad, man, if somebody was doing this to my my, my cab or my car. Oh, there he is! So he's gonna make a little lap around the park area, and then once he makes his way here, it's my shot to just attack him. Hopefully being able to hit him right away and then obtaining that power moon. Um, there's just so many. I'm just remembering them as I play this, which is pretty nice. So it's a good thing that I don't have to look down at the guy. You know, you just get them once and then they kind of stay stuck in your head forever, sort of. All right, where, where are you at? All right. Oh, no, I screwed it up, dude. What the heck, man? I literally screwed it up. Right, whatever, fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do this while I wait for him to come back. So you want to go ahead and take these uh, blocks these letters and then put them in the correct spot 
So Mario like this, it's all jumbled up. Like you could literally possess anything in this game. As long as it's not wearing a cap, you're good. So uh, Mar, there you go. Everything's kind of laid out, you know, very close. And then let's get the eye. The eye is the only one that looks weird because it kind of bounces. It doesn't like walk because it doesn't have like two legs or anything like that. You know, like the M and the A. Something with the O, it'll bounce a little bit. It just kind of like shuffles. Doesn't even really bounce. But go ahead, spell out Mario, and you get yourself a Power Moon. Just chilling in the middle of this park. Let me go ahead and grab it. Hopefully the bird's back. I hope I didn't miss him. Because that would really suck if I missed him again. Okay, so he, I, don't, I don't see him at all. So meaning he's probably still about to make his lap over here. Oh, there he is. He's literally about to make his lap, so it's perfect timing, I guess, for me. All right, so I gotta, I gotta hit him this time. It's just the camera angle. It's kind of throwing me off. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. How do I get him? Oh, no! Come back here, stupid birdie! I just, I'm not really a big fan of these bird power moons, if I'm being honest. I feel like they're very tedious to do because you know they just, the the way they fly is just you have to kind of go out of your way and. Put yourself in an uncomfortable situation just to get the power moon. Let's actually see how low he goes in the park. He doesn't actually go that low. He's still... Okay, so he's coming over this way. I feel like I should be bouncing on the cab. The cab is literally in the perfect spot for this. All right, here he, is. Here he comes. Here he comes. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Oh, no! Okay, I'm gonna just cut to the part where I finally get this power moon. Because this is gonna get annoying. Oh my gosh, I finally got it! Oh no, dude, I was so scared that taxi was gonna take off with me. Alright, so this is how you do it. I guess, you know, it took forever to do, but I'm glad I finally did it. I, I, just, I feel like I got lucky with that hit, you know. Cappy just kind of, you know, randomly grazed the bird and it worked out nonetheless. So, now I just gotta get that power moon and hopefully that I can- There you go, grab the power moon just like that. Bird traveling in the city, once again, most tedious power moon that I'll probably get in this kingdom outside of the jump roping stuff just because, you know, I'm not really good with jump roping in this game, like precision jumping like that, you know, especially doing it continually like that. But anyways, we are here in this place um, and there's actually a power moon. In this area that we haven't got, we skipped over it, unfortunately. I think the first time I came around here was when I first played this kingdom. So you want to go ahead and take one of these things with you all the way up to the top. You just want to make sure you reach a point like where you're up there. And then you'll be able to hit where the power moon's actually at. Actually, I could probably hit it right now. It's literally in that box all the way over there. So let me see if I can hit it. There you go. I would, it would be nice if I could hit it from there you go. I hit it. Wow, that was pretty easy. A lot easier than I thought it would be. So, I don't actually need this tank anymore. I could just go ahead and be Mario. Travel my way all the way up to the top. Easier than... Oh, never mind. Maybe I do need that guy. Alright, let me... Oh, let me skip over him. There you go. Oh, no! No! I fell and I died. Wow, I didn't actually die. But still, like... That's kind of silly how far Mario fell down. All right, let's do this again. Let's climb all the way back up to the top. It's just the camera angle, dude. In some places, it's just garbage. Like in this place, for example, you know, it just got kind of weird and wonky. So go ahead and dive all the way over here. Avoid this dude. There you go. So yeah, I don't even need to do any of this. They were going to make me go out of my way to kill these things. And what did they do to deserve death? I mean, technically, they do deserve to die because they are attacking me. But, you know... Go ahead and pick up the power moon. So you can actually get power moons by shooting them like you can with the moon bits uh, or the moon shards, whatever you call them. It's, it doesn't work like that in this game. You actually have to go pick up the power moon yourself with Mario uh, or with, you know, whatever captured being you are if it can, like, touch it. But that's the only way it works. Oh, yeah. By the way, this thing right here. Go ahead. Fly in the sky. And then look over to the right or left side and you'll see a flying sphinx. He's visiting us here in Metro Kingdom as well. This dude is literally traveling the world, man. This thing. He, he's taking it very seriously. Oh yeah, by the way, look at that power moon there. We got some coins up on that roof. And then there's a power moon there. I'll show you guys all the power moons that I could see just from this. Okay, so let's, uh, let's zoom out. So there's one power moon right there. Okay. And there's a power moon right there. So we'll definitely get those two. And then there's one up there, but we already got that one. There's some coins right there as well. Uh, what else is there? I guess that's it. And then I see coins there. So I'll definitely get those four in that one. 
So let's go ahead and do that. What are we doing? We're wasting our time. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Go ahead and grab this power moon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also another one. Sphinx in the city. Dude, we're on a roll here, dude. I could literally... Cranky Street. Okay, Squawks Park. Hey, what's up, dog? So I came traveling here with friends, but they both wandered off. Those two have the attention spans of beanies. I hope they're not running around They borrow, uh, with borrowed legs. So, he says beanies, and at first I thought it was beanies, like, as in beanies from, uh, from what's it called, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, but I think he actually means the hat, the beanie hat, you know? But anyways, what you need to do is you need to walk around the sidewalk area and find a dude walking with eyes on the back of his head. So it could be him. Yeah, there he is. Hey, I found you! I knew it was him. I mean, he was the only guy that waved at me, so who else could it have been? It must have been him, dude. So that's another one that we could get easily. Another one that we could also do is in this place. So we've been here before. I think I want to say we've done. Actually, no, we haven't been here. This is the first time we're actually here. This is a bullet bill one. There's two power moons here as well. Uh, and this has taken us to a different part of the city. A part you've never really seen before. Watch out for the bullet bills. They're ready to explode. I don't know why, dude. What did I do to these bullet bills to deserve this kind of treatment, dude? Stop trying to kill me! I didn't do anything to you! Who would have planted these things up here? It must have been Bowser. I mean, who else could it have been other than that fiend? So let's go ahead and grab these coins as well while we're here. Look at that. Pauline's face is on it, dude. I mean, come on. How conceited do you have to be to put your face on the coin of the city that you live in. They couldn't, like, put Mar or just anybody's face. It had to be hers. That's kind of weird. Pauline, you're kind of crazy. So, uh, speaking of Pauline, we actually have a mission to do with her as well. So, we're going to go ahead and stand right... Actually, I'll possess this one. Come here. I need you, Mr. Hat. Oh, no. There you go. Dude, these things are ready to explode. I don't know why. But they're just on the verge of exploding. Dude, could you imagine if there was a city... That existed that was this big. Like, dude, this is like 10 Manhattans fused together. At least, bro. Like, this place is ginormous. It's kind of weird because, like, um, when you see a place like this, and then you, like, see Chicago skyline, it's, like, actually very small. Even Chicago compared to, like, other cities. Like, Hong Kong's, uh, like, cities and even, like, Japan, like, Tokyo, Japan, I believe, like, Hong Kong, like, obviously, New York and whatnot. Th those places are pretty small. Like, Chicago, I mean, it's pretty small. Not to diss it or anything, obviously, but it's just the skyline isn't as vast. It's still beautiful, but it's not as vast as other skylines around the world. Anyways, I've been waiting for you, Mario. We heard about all your heroic in the Moon Kingdom. Uh, truly a hero's hero. You've come a long way since we met. I wonder if you'd like to learn a bit about me. Maybe in a quiz form. Sure, sounds fun. Here we go. Question. What is, the most, what is my most treasured possession? I would say um, an umbrella. Ah, uh, she didn't. She, so every time you do this... It's always different questions. So watch, it's gonna be something else. Sure, sounds fun. I'm pretty sure it was her purse, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I think it's her purse, cause uh, yeah. So well, let me see. Which one of these things did I actually do a long time ago? Captured by an ape. Ah, well, you you didn't do that. I, Donkey Kong's the one that did that. You were just the victim of it. All right, correct. I knew you'd remember. It was traumatic at the time, but it helped me make me the person I, I am now. Okay, here we go. Question number two. What kind of music do I like? You like Pepe music. That's right. Correct. I like music that brings people together and gets them moving. That's my favorite. Here we go. Question number three. What do I adore? Uh, uh, I would say flowers. No, she adores cake or machines. I don't know. What do you adore, Pauline? See, this just shows how well I know Pauline. I don't know her at all. All right, what do I plan to eat for dinner tonight? How am I supposed to know that? Fried stew, flour stew, leaf salad, or fried mushrooms? Hey, fried mushrooms. That's what I figured because obviously, you know, Mario likes mushrooms and they all eat toads. Man, you sick woman eating toads. What do I do on my days off? Practice singing. That's right. No wonder you have such a lovely voice. Here we go. Question number three. What do you think my hobby is? Uh, going on walks. Just like me. I love going on walks. I went on a walk yesterday. It felt amazing. I'm looking forward to my walk tonight. I can't wait for it, to be honest. I love the city from one corner to another. I, t I take walks to see it all. Here we go. Question. What kingdom would I like to visit right now? 
Um, ooh, that's a good one. It's definitely not Seaside. I did this before and Seaside was wrong. I figured maybe Seaside because it's like the beach LA version of, you know, it's like the LA of this game, but it's definitely not that. So it's either Wooded or Cloud. I'm going to say Wooded Kingdom. Ah, I knew it, it was Cloud Kingdom. Why would you want to go to Cloud Kingdom? There's nothing to see. It's just clouds. Gosh dang it, Pauline. All right, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Honestly, how am I doing? You got to say fantastic. If you say badly, you're going to break her heart and she'll kill you on the spot, dude. You want to see Mario's dead body just laid out here in Metro Kingdom for all the pedestrians to see? I'm not. What am I bad with? I'm going to say fixing machines because you had me come fix your problems. All right, what else do we have? Uh, this one is, what? Well, I'm gonna. Uh, let me guess, it's Cloud Kingdom, right? Oh, yes, of course, correct. I want to see clouds that go on forever. Here we go, question number four. Give me your honest opinion on how I'm doing this I'm gonna say, well, didn't you just ask me this? She literally asked me this before, so I answered it twice. All right, thanks for taking the time to chat. It was good to catch up with old friends. I guess I'm feeling sentimental. Today's my birthday. Did you know that? No matter how old I get, I still get excited about presents. So now we got to go find this girl a present. Remember how I found a purse in the last episode? And I was like, okay, so whose purse does this belong to? Well, it turns out it belonged to Pauline. And I guess it's actually maybe not her purse, but we're going to give her a purse that we found. It's kind of weird. You should open it up and maybe see who this belongs to. But Polly's like, no, nope, I'll take it. This is perfect. It's a good color for me as well, even though red's my favorite color. Because that's all I seem to wear. But I'll take this pink purse, which most likely belongs to Peach. Thanks for taking time to chat. It's good to catch up with old friends. I guess I'm feeling sentimental today. Blah, blah, blah. I see you have something in your hands there. Is that a purse? It's lovely. So maybe her purse was her most prized possession. Is that a present for me? Wonderful. You figured out exactly what I wanted. I've been without a purse since I lost mine that terrible day. Whoa. So how do you do your... Tr where do you carry your money? Huh? Are you going to lie to me right now, Pauline? All right. Please accept this in return. A power moon. You should probably save this for your city, you know, because it runs off of power moons. And one day, you won't have any power moons to support yourself. So you should probably not be giving me this. But okay, cool. Thanks. I I'll, I'll take it from you. I'll take it off your hands if you clearly want to get rid of it like that. You know, no problem. It's all mine. Okay, so what you want to do here is we're going to, you know, wall bounce just like this. Biggly baggly boo. Skibbity bibbity bee. Just to get these coins. So they're literally, oh gosh. Okay, there you go. And then, oh, 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 there you go. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ground pound. Oh, that hurt Mario's butt. That's not cool. So there's a power moon literally right there. All right, so. We want to go ahead and land directly into it like this. This is actually not how you get it. The real way to get it is by using that switch over there to, you know, smack it. And then what happens is uh, there's like a platform that'll appear. And then you just are supposed to make your way on it and get the thing. But obviously I did it the getaway, which is fine because, you know, that's how we do it here. We do things in a very ghetto fashion, which is pretty nice. I like it. You know, it makes us different and whatnot. But anyways, we're going back all the way up to the peak of Metro Kingdom because there is one power moon that requires this scooter. We thought we were done with, you know, driving scooters off of roofs, but nope, this is only just the beginning. So what you really need to do is you actually need to jump off of this roof and drive this thing to this guy's roof. There you go. Oh, no. There you go. And land directly on this thing. And then he'll be like, oh, congrats, you're the very first customer to park your motor scooter here. Thanks, dude. Just because we're the very first customer, we got free parking and we got a power moon. How awesome is that? You're welcome. You can keep the scooter. I don't want it anymore. It's all yours, buddy boy. All right, what else is there? There's all that power moon with the, the power line. Um, hmm, I wonder where it was. I actually don't know, to be honest with you guys. But it should be somewhere around here. Um, where was it? I do not remember. Oh, yeah, there was also another thing as well that we could do. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. So, if you guys remember, uh, there's, there's two sewers. There was one sewer at the, like, at the very beginning of the episode that we did, and that's the bigger one. That's the one where the power plant's located under. And then there's another sewer over here in this area. 
and this one's actually a lot smaller so the first time we came down here i believe we did one of the power moons but we didn't do the second one and i'm sure if cappy tells us there's one power moon here then i obviously got the other one yeah i did i could see i remember this place do you really cappy i bet there's at least one power moon hidden here somewhere so you literally just spin on top of the glass and you come down here and boom bada bing shalang outside the rotating maze is this power moon you know and then you know i gotta wow it's too high for me okay i get it you know you're gonna really make me do this i i see you game it's uh, it's all good i understand and i'm not here to complain let's go ahead and just throw this paint off dude piss off whoever bought this paint you know man this wood looks really clean dude i like it it looks so well done and nice Whew. i love it man i like wood what can i say so uh where else can we go for more power moons that's a fantastic question. I'm thinking of a place, but I don't remember where it is. Uh, oh, hold on. There's there's probably... So, no, the triangle building is the one with Peach. This place, though... Let me see what this place is. What, could it be this place? Oh, no. We already did this place. So, it's like a door that takes you somewhere. It's just a matter of which door it is. Um, I'm trying to think, actually. Was it this? It could It could have been that. Let's go where the outdoor cafe is. That's where probably it is. So it's that place that we visited where I had the crowds of people rushing into the building and out of the building at once. And you kind of had to like make your way through it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely this because I was thinking maybe this is where the Bob the Builder guy is, but it's not. So if this is where the crowd of people are, yep, then this is it for sure. I remember this place. Do you really, Cappy? I bet there's still at least one power moon in here somewhere. Well, where is it? Are you going to tell me? He's not going to tell you anything. However, if you go inside of this pipe, it'll take you to the roof of some building outside of the city almost. This looks like it's outside the city. Go ahead, possess this rocket and blast off into oblivion. It's weird. Like, we're already really high up in the sky. And now we're here again, even higher, but we're still in the sky. I bet there's still one or two more power moons here. Are you going to lie to me, Cappy? There's only one power moon. Why would you say two? He said one or two, even though he knows clearly there's only one. There's also some coins here as well, which I didn't get because I was an idiot and I didn't know how to get them last time I was here. But now I do. I'm perfectly equipped and prepared to do this. This isn't, you know, oh, a job that I knew how to do before. What? What the heck, man? Why did you go fling the other way? It's because I'm moving the joystick, obviously. That's what happened. I'm so silly, dude. This is where I do all of my training. I find that hard to believe that you do the kind of training Mario does. You're meaning to tell me that you take leaps of faith just like me? Just like how I do it? Like this? I don't believe him, dude. I think that guy's trying to flex. You know, make himself sound cooler than he actually is. So... Uh, let me see. Don't die this time, Mario. There you go. Stay alive. Stay alive. All right. So you don't want to jump off on this part. You want to keep going. So you want to just wall jump like that. And then go ahead and wall jump again. And then wall jump over and get yourself the power moon. Vaulting up a high rise. Very nice. Um... Literally, that was a high-rise, but not like in the literal sense, you know, a high-rise building. Actually, no, it is in the literal sense. We actually rose really high. All right, so here we go. This is where the coins are. So I didn't know how to do this, like I said, the first time around. I'm going to show you how simple it is. So what you want to do is you want to literally just click B, just like that. You got yourself some coins, 61 out of 100. Notice how we're collecting a lot of coins without really intentionally trying to collect them. We just kind of run into them as we're playing this, and it's just it works out pretty nicely for me. So by the next episode, for sure, we should be able to finish off this place 100%, as well as, you know, collect all the coins and the remaining power moves that we don't get. Whoa, this is a very nice view. Look at the... Whoa, look at the clouds, bro. Pink and blue. That happens sometimes, especially when the sun's setting. You can just see the clouds. Like, they're just orangish, pinkish. It's so beautiful. It's very, very pretty. Imagine, like, if you're in a place with pretty sunsets, too. Like, I, I see this all the time from my backyard. Um, okay, so I think we can leave this place now. I think we got all the ones that we could possibly get here. So now there's one on the roof, obviously, that we saw before. Are you going to tell me there's one more? Oh, there is one more here. I wonder where, actually. Hmm, that's a great question. 
Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure I know where it is. I got it, dude. So it's gonna be on top of this thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump on this thing. There you go, jump on. Okay, Mario, come on, dude. Mario, you gotta. Ooh, there you go. Is that it? Is it there? What? It's not even there. Okay, what the heck, man? Did I really skip over one of them in that place? I don't know. What about if I go in this place? Follow him inside. I can't even go inside of here. Okay, so there's obviously a power moon. Oh, what if it's this one? Nope, I also got that one. Okay, that's very weird. Um, This is... Was it, is it in this pile of trash? Doesn't look like it. What about this? Nope, doesn't look like that either. Okay, this is weird. I don't know where exactly this power moon could be. What if it's in that area, like in this place? Because this isn't one that I've gotten before ever, so... It must be here. I mean, let's be real. Unless Cappy's like, hey, there's no power moons here. Then in which case, I don't know. Cappy's playing mind games with me at this point. Doesn't seem like there's anything left. I'm gonna kill you, dude. Are you serious? You told me there's one or two. I got one of them. Where's the two? Where's the or two? He's not gonna tell me, is he? Alright, that's fine. It's whatevs. You know, I forgive you, Cappy. It's not like you intentionally do this. It's just a mistake that you made. You know, I forgive you. Alright, let's see. It's probably like high up somewhere. I'm gonna just jump up on this thing. And then follow the path. Maybe it's not even on this thing. Yeah, I really don't know, dude. I'll come back for this one. I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to figure this one out. Because obviously, I don't really know where it's at. I mean, there's two here that are very clear and well known. But the rest, I just don't know where they're at. So, anyways, I might just go ahead and end off the episode once I get the three uh, power moons that we planted in the last one. Just because it's uh, getting a little lengthy. And I'm having a hard time remembering where some of the power moons are, to be honest with you guys. Um, so, next time for sure, I'll have all of this stuff completed 100%. And I'll be able to figure out where all the remaining power moons are for sure. So, it'll be good and easy. I know for a fact two of them are the jump rope ones. But, again, I'm not really good with doing that. So, I may actually just do them off screen. Just to save myself the trouble and the embarrassment of trying to do the jump rope game. Because I know I'm not really good at it. So I think the second one was like located up on this thing. Yeah, it was. Okay. All right, Mario. Go ahead. Keep smacking your head on the wall, dude. You're going to give yourself a concussion one day. And then you're going to blame me, dude. That's the second one right there. All right. And then the last one is located over in this area on top of the slot machine. Or I guess across the slot machine house's roof. So you can do this an easier way by literally... You know, just... Ew, was that a rat? That was a rat. That's disgusting, dude. Alright, so right here. That's how you get the power moon. So with that, guys, we are done with this episode. We have a total of 40 power moons. Speaking of power moons, there is a little something-something for me to get. And that is those coins right there. Now, the more coins I get in this episode, the better. The le that means the less work I'll have to do in the next one. Okay, Cappy, come down here, dude. What are you trying to do, dude? You're trying to show off, I see? All right. Oh. Okay. Let me let me do this. There you go. That's all it took. I'm just trying to get up here doing a fancy technique, and it's just not working out for me. All right, guys. So that's gonna conclude today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time as well, we're gonna find the poster that will take us to the next kingdom. It's actually literally located on this, um, on this building, the triangle-shaped building. It's located really high up on that side where the coins are you'll see it so we'll do that as well in the next episode but other than that thank you for watching my friends and i'll see you all in the next one peace out